Hello, my air sign babies. This is your weekly reading <clears throat> for January 26th. Take only what resonates and leave the rest. Timestamps are down below. <clears throat> Please bear with me. I'm still trying to get well. Um, or get entirely well. Everything you need to know about me is down in the description box below. All my social media platforms and any other little tidbits that you may want to uh, know is down below in the description box. Okay, so we are going to get started with Aquarius for the weekly reading. All right, Aquarius. Spirit, what do we have for my Aquarius babies for this week? This reading goes for from Thursday to Thursday. Spirit, what do you have for my Aquarius babies for this week? <laughs> okay this is actually beautiful it may not look too beautiful right now but it is going to be beautiful bottom deck energy we have is the hanged man I feel like you're going through a very uncomfortable transition. You're going through a very uncomfortable transformation, which could have you kind of hung up a little bit, which is like, I don't want to go through this. It's like, I don't want to go through it. Sometimes we go through certain things that we just don't want to go through because the transition is so amazingly uncomfortable. You're having to see things that you didn't want to see before. Or you're having to deal with things that you didn't deal with before. But this is one of those karmic cycles that's coming to an end. And so you literally are seeing it. And you're like, okay, I either deal with this karmic cycle or I end it. And I try something else. Sometimes when we get to that point of I'm not doing this anymore... It's more than just not doing the action anymore. When you change as a person, people fall off. Certain people that are not in your corner, you realize they're not in your corner. It doesn't mean you don't have love for them. It is just a space of, oh my gosh, I love this person. I don't want to lose them. And if I change, I'm going to end up losing them. Anybody who is for you is not going to leave you if you are doing something good for yourself they're going to encourage you to do it they're going to stick by you they're not going to sit there and be like oh well you're doing this this and this what how dare you look out for yourself i'm going to get mad at you for that you know but some of us were programmed to believe that doing anything good for ourselves is bad be why because it doesn't suit them like they don't have that kind of access to you anymore or they can't use you anymore or you know they can't uh, go to that space of you're always going to be there you know there's boundaries being set here and there's boundaries being laid down and it's almost like your heart doesn't want to do it, but your mind, your mental is like, now's the time. It's like, I'm kind of sick of this shit. I'm so over it. We have the devil card here. I feel like that there could be a cycle. Somebody toxic. Somebody. Mm, could be somebody that you just have a lot of passion for. Um, like forbidden pleasure type of energy. Um, you know that it's stagnant. You know it's not going anywhere. Something has to give type of energy. And I almost feel like nobody's making a move. Like you're not making a move. They're not making a move. But it's just like 
stuff going on back and forth that really doesn't serve a purpose. Like, it really doesn't serve anything. Um, you could be dealing with the Capricorn. You don't have to be. There's a tower here. Something is coming down. Something is like, okay, something's got to give. Something needs to change. Okay. I really don't feel like this is taking you by surprise because Aquarius is known for thinking and even overthinking. You have really good deep instincts. So I feel like you may have seen it coming, but you might have turned a blind eye to it because you want to push it off as long as you possibly could. We do have the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is facing forward. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, but you don't have to be. Facing forward, this is about prosperity, abundance, solidarity, security. Um, could be job related, doesn't have to be. Um, but it's just about having more abundance and being there for yourself, being surrounded more with love. I feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is your energy, definitely. We do have the death card here. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. You don't have to be. But there's a rebirth going on here. It's like something has to die in order for something else to come alive. And it could be within a person, could be within a situation. Just take it how it resonates for you. And I feel like with the Four of Swords, you're kind of resting through it. It's like, okay, I know our rebirth needs to happen. I'm just going to let all the tower fall. And I'm just going to surrender to it. And I'm going to let it happen. We do have the Wheel of Fortune. You're ready to let things manifest to you that you're actually manifesting. You're manifesting energies versus people. I feel like that for a while you may have felt like you were manifesting energies. But really, you are manifesting people. It's like, I want this person to be what my manifestation is. And so it's like, that's what you kept focusing on. But it's like now, as scary as it may be, you're ready to actually look at the energy that you're manifesting. Give it a chance that it could be something else besides of what you were seeing. And I feel like with the hanged man, that's what kind of has you hung up a little bit. It's like, it's scary. It can put you in freeze mode. It's like, um, I know that I need to let go of what I thought and welcome in what I'm actually doing. I mean, perfect example is, let's say I thought I was washing my car, but really I'm just doing this. I'm just knocking on a table. It's like, look, look at me washing my car. But now I'm realizing, you know what? I wasn't washing my car at all. I was knocking on a table. And now I don't know what to do because I really want to wash my car. <laughs> but I'm scared of water. <laughs> you know, like it's that kind of vibe. And so it just kind of makes you freeze a little bit. And it's like, oh, okay. So what I thought I was doing, I wasn't really doing it at all. It's like going around and around in circles, you know, uh, with the devil. So with the hangman, we have Pisces energy here too. So, we have the Three of Cups. I feel like that you could have a strong support system. You could possibly have people telling you, giving you advice, kind of um, being supportive of your goals. Um, just keep in mind that if you have too many people in your ear, don't let it sway your wants. Don't let it sway you off of the path that you want to go on. Okay, but definitely listen with an objective ear. Be open to suggestion. The Three of Cups always tells me that there's too many cooks in the kitchen, but in some cases, yes, it can show support. It can um, show that people are trying to get you out of this hangman position, telling you to go for it type of thing. We do have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is about you being patient and seeing what comes to you. And we have the universe. You have the, the world is equivalent to the world. So you have the Wheel of Fortune and you have the world. And now you're trying to be patient and saying, okay, now I'm going to wait and see what energies I'm manifesting to me. I'm willing to be patient with it and actually take a look at what I am manifesting to myself. 
And keep in mind, it's not what you thought it could have been. So with the Page of Pentacles, it's like a waiting game. It's like, I'm waiting on this. I'm going to wait. I'm going to be patient. And while I am being patient, I'm going to continue to work on myself, make myself solid. I'm going to um, take the rest time. You know, um, there was something that I read today, and I think it's, it's pertinent to this. It's... Um, the times that you have down times and you think life is boring or stagnant, those are the times that you should be shedding and healing um, baggage. You should be shedding baggage. You should be healing and getting yourself prepared for the next wave of what's coming. And I feel like that that's what you're doing. Trying to see what's going to be more abundant, something that's going to be more creative. We do have the Five of Swords. I do feel as if you are moving out of... Um, you know, gameplay, you're moving out of um, people uh, playing with your mind. Uh, it's like you're showing up for your own fights. We do have the Knight of Pentacles of you moving out of this energy. And it may be slow and steady. It may not be one of those quick cuts, but it's like I'm slow and steady wins the race. I'm going to take my time. And I'm going to see where I want to go and how I want to do it. There could be a particular person that you're not necessarily going to cut off from. But you're going to change the way that you deal with them. And it's going to be like a slow and steady progress. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Eight of Wands. So it's like you know that you want to take a direction in something. You know you want to take movement. And with the Ace, Eight of Wands, and we have the Sun... You could be getting some kind of fast coming communication um, or an epiphany, a download. And it's going to be very important to your happiness. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. It's like all of a sudden you know what to work on. You know what it is that you want to rebuild. And you're going to do that. Yep. We also have the Page of Wands here. So it's like you're making all these plans. You're being motivated. You may feel as if you're being a little frozen right now, but you're going to get your motivation back, and you're going to have a different perspective on what direction you want to go in. So we are going to pull some advice from Spirit. All right, Spirit, what advice do you have for my Aquarius babies for this week? creator fire and we have you the muse that is beautiful actually see you have the ace of wands and you have the eight of wands at that so I do feel like that you're going to get your fire back okay you're going to be creating some stuff you're going to be using this to amplify your own path see look at that creator alchemy get back to elemental you are using yourself as your own muse you're using your own experiences you're alchemizing your energy you're making it into yeah this was bad energy but i'm gonna make it something good it's like you went from frozen to all of a sudden you're just hot you know you're like i'm alchemizing my energy for something greater we have get back to elemental which tells me to get back, you know, you need to get back to the elements, you know, water, fire, air, earth. I feel like this could have a lot to do with whatever it is that you could be creating for yourself. Um, whether it's a small business, whether it's your home, you know, just getting it back in touch with the elements, your higher self and your spirit guides. Bottom deck energy we have is bravely market your magic. This could be a really strong sign. For you to just start creating and if you don't have like your own storefront uh, get one if you don't have like start creating things even if you're not selling anything create it for yourself put it up around your apartment or your house or your home you know your office start creating little things for yourself out of self-love and then start showing them to people you could possibly be spreading that energy and that love to other people that need it too 
and also making, you know, making some money off of it. Yep. So that is what I have for you for this week, Aquarius. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. If you like your segment of the video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know if you resonate. Um, share and subscribe if you want to. I will have a great week and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hello, Gemini. This is your weekly reading for January 26th. Take only what resonates and leave the rest. All right, Spirit, what do you have for my Gemini babies for this week? What do you have for my Gemini babies for this week? Bottom deck energy we have is the Four of Wands. You are ascending from one place to the other. Um... We have the Knight, or the Page of Pentacles, we have the Fool, we have the Nine of Cups, we have the Hierophant, we have the Six of Cups, and we have the Page of Swords. You're doing some research on something, actually you're doing research probably on a couple of things. Um, the Page of Pentacles is all about building foundation. It's about building foundation, making something stable, grounding yourself, could be grounding a certain situation. Um... It's just about you not getting too far out of your own head. Um, it's like I need this to be stable. And I'm wanting to take a chance on something that's more stable. You're not making movement yet. It's just something that you're thinking about. With the Fool card, you are wanting to take a chance on yourself with the Nine of Cups. It's like, I'm emotionally stable for this. I can handle this. This is a wish fulfillment for me. I'm filling up my own cup. I'm not letting anybody take me off of my journey or my path or the way that I'm thinking. We do have the higher font present. You could be dealing with the Taurus. You don't have to be. Um, but it's like a sense of committing something to yourself. You could also be thinking about um, a reconciliation or you could be getting in touch with your inner child. Um, sometimes we go through life and we're like, okay, we need to get in touch with our inner child. We need to heal something within our inner child. We need to commit to ourselves and do better for ourselves. So the person that you could be reconciling with could be yourself. Um, <clears throat> for others, this could be about thinking about making something else solid, taking a chance on it, having self-love, and committing to a reconciliation. Like you're committing to growth. You're committing to um, learning something new. You're committing to making something better. Okay, so whether this is within a connection or with, whether this is within yourself, it's like you're wanting to make that connection and making something better. Um, with the Page of Swords, you could be doing a lot of researching. You could be uh, calculating. You could be maybe um, studying somebody or studying some things uh, as to what your next move should be, how you should go about it. With the Four of Wands, you are ascending to the next level. Um, you see the 1111 here. So it's like you're ascending to the next level. For some people, this is a marriage card or it's a sense of, um, it could be a relationship that you're taking from one area to another. Like if you were just friends, you're going to relationship status, you know, like exclusive. If you're already exclusive, you could be possibly getting engaged. If you're engaged, you might be going to, you know, the marriage department. So, you know, it, it's a sense of, ascending to the next level. Now this very well could be about yourself of ascending to the next level somewhere that you've never been before when it comes to self-love. Just take it how it resonates for you or whatever it is that you are thinking of when it comes to this situation. We have the seven of wands. This is something that you're wanting to fight for, something that you're defensive about. You might have people 
who are trying to talk you out of things or people who are trying to um, discourage you from something. And so you're a bit defensive about it. It's like, I know this is for my greater good. And those who are um, arguing with me about it are those that are trying to tell me no. I know what's best for me and I'm going to put them in their place is the kind of vibe that I'm getting. You're taking it like if anybody has a problem with what you're doing, it's because they no longer have certain access to you. And you know it. You're like, you don't have that access to me anymore, so of course you don't want me to grow. You don't want me to grow because I'm going to grow further away from your toxic bullshit. You know, that is the vibe that I'm getting here. That you're committing to yourself. And there are some people who possibly use you, um for whatever reason and they're like they don't want you to get too far away from them we do have the star card so this is all about healing and wishing upon a star you're you're getting a wish fulfillment you could be dealing with an aquarius you don't have to be but once you set your sight on your goals you're going to be very determined to get there and you're going to get there quickly it's like you're going to put some blinders on and you're like let's just make a go of it and we're going to go for it you also could be dealing with the cancer you don't have to be we have the universe you're working on your world this is the end of a cycle for you okay everything is coming to a head you're closing things off in order for you to begin something new it's like this project is wrapping up And that is your main focus. You're like, let's get this wrapped up so we can have something new. And you're having patience. You're waiting to see what's coming to you next. You know, it's like, okay, I got this wrapped up. This is a done deal. Now let's see what's next on the list. It has you stressed out a little bit because you might not be sure or you may not be sure of what direction it's going to go. But just have faith in yourself and know that you're doing everything that you need to be doing in order to move forward we're going to pull some advice from the universe all right spirit what advice do you have for my gemini babies What advice do you have for my Gemini baby spirit? We have fearless expression. We have light in the unexpected. Overthinking can spoil the magic. Geminis definitely overthink. Overrate your intuition. Bottom deck energy. Move beyond intention to belief. There could be certain things that are happening that you're like, it's too good to be true, or I didn't realize this would happen to me. It's happening to you. It's great. Um, I feel like there could be things in the past that you ignored your intuition, especially when it comes to people. If you have people around you who are discouraging you, listen to your intuition over discouraging words, is what Spirit just said. Overthinking can spoil the magic. So don't overthink it. You have the chariot. The chariot is somebody who's determined. They don't think everything through. They just go for it. It's like, I'm not going to overthink this. I'm just going to go for it. And I think that this is the confirmation from spirit that if you are in a situation like that where it's like, ah, oh, man, I want to go for this. But let me overthink it for about 5,000 days. Don't do that. Don't even overthink it. If it feels good, listen to your intuition and go for it. Don't let a whole bunch of people, you know, tell you it's not for you. Only you know what is for you. Light in the unexpected. Be a little bit spontaneous. We have fearless expression. Don't be afraid to ex express yourself. You have the seven of wands. I feel like you're going to be putting some people in their place. It's like, yeah, let me tell you about you stepping to me, about my situation, you know? So that is what I have for you for this week, Gemini. I'm sending you so much love, light, healing, and protection. If you have, if you like your segment of the video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know if you resonate. Share. Um, subscribe if you want to. And have a great week. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hello, Libra. This is your weekly reading for 
January 26th. Take only what resonates and leave the rest. All right, Spirit, what do you have for my Libra babies for this week? Your reading goes from Thursday to Thursday. Oh, that one is like, hi, I'm going to fly out for you. You have Pisces energy. You could be hung up about something, but we have happiness. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Pisces. You don't have to be dealing with either one, though. It's like, I have my focus on my happiness, but I'm hung up on how to get it. We have the Two of Pentacles. You're trying to balance it out. We also have the Justice card. There's something, there could be some kind of karmic activity that needs to come to a close. It could be your karmic activity or it could be somebody else's karmic activity. But there is a karmic cycle that needs to come to a close before you can get the green light. Um, we have the Knight of Cups. The death card. Yep. There's a rebirth that has to happen. We have the three of swords with the high priestess. Something needs to come to a close before your true happiness cycle can begin. You're trying to balance out things. You're trying to make things happy. You're like, I'm trying this. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. What am I missing? What you're missing is that there is something that needs to be taken care of before you can move forward. I have been reading this for months on you, Libra. So there is some kind of justice that needs to be leveled out here. And this is you showing up in your own reading. You know that something needs to be balanced out. With the Two of Pentacles, there could be a debate. There could be some stubbornness. There could be some going back and forth. But with the Knight of Cups, it's like, I want to I want to get out of this karmic cycle from a very, you know, like I want to follow my heart. It's a spark of following your heart and trying to make a move in the right direction. We do have the death card. There is a rebirth that has to go on here. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. You don't have to be. I see Pisces, Leo, Libra, and Scorpio. But this is something that you were heartbroken in. Something that's very um, disappointing to you. Could have been a third party situation, but doesn't have to be. Um... But you're using your intuition on it. It's like, I need to get out of this. Like, I, I know that I need to get out of this rut. I know that I need to forgive this. I know that I need to um, find some self-love. I know that I need to... Like, you know everything that you need to do in order for this rebirth to happen. There's things that you have to clear. And your intuition is telling you. It's just a question of, are you paying attention to your intuition? bottom deck energy we have is the ten of wands you have been holding this burden you've been struggling with this burden but the ten of wands indicates that this is the end of that cycle okay so you have a cycle that's ending a karmic cycle but don't fight it that's the whole thing don't fight it don't be stagnant with it you know do what you need to do in order for you to break free into the next step I feel like that there could have been some kind of stubbornness here of, I don't want to do the right thing. I'd rather hold on my stubbornness. You should see the look on my face right now. <laughs> and that's why it's been so hard for you. <laughs> you know? So with the Six of Pentacles, it's like you have to give what you want to receive. This is a reminder of reciprocation. If you want something, then you have to give that. Mm-hmm. You want flow, you have to give flow. You don't want irritation, then stop giving irritation. You don't want stubbornness, then stop being stubborn. You want free flow, then stop blocking yourself. I feel like that you, you put up your own blocks. There could be certain things that just doesn't seem to work out for you simply because of your stubbornness of not clearing something out. Or if you clear it out, you will see the outcome is something better for you to move on to calmer waters. With the Six of Swords, the Six of Swords is about moving on to calmer waters. It's like, I'm tired of being mad. I'm tired of being irritated. I just want to do the right thing so that way I can have good flowing to me again. With the Seven of Cups, you may be a bit confused about your options on how to handle this. And with the Four of Swords, it's like, I'm just going to go ahead... <clears throat> I almost get like a 
a shutdown feeling. Usually the Four of Swords is about resigning or surrendering to a situation. But I feel like that you know that you need to let something go or you need to make something correct. And you'd rather shut down than to do that. Because we have the Hermit. A lot of self-reflection, a lot of tuning people out, not listening, being in your own head. It's like the longer that you're in your own head about it, the more confused you're becoming. But you're gaining strength and confidence from this. You could also be dealing with a Virgo or a Leo. But you don't have to be. It's like, I know I need to close this, close this out, but how do I do it? Once you get the confidence and once you get the, um, the strength to do it, you have a very new beginning of following your heart. There's a new beginning that's awaiting the other side of whatever it is that you need to take care of karmically. Look. Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. So you have prosperity, abundance, and love on the other side of this obstacle. So if you're going to lay down and you're going to shut down, don't do that for too long. Handle your karmic cycle. If you have something that you need to take care of, then take care of it. So that way you can move on to your new beginnings. I feel like that you're not trusting that the new beginnings are going to come. I have a feeling that you look at something and you're like, that that doesn't have any weight with what I'm going what's going on in my life. It does. Whatever it is that you don't think has weight absolutely has weight. I feel like that you're afraid that I feel like that you're trying to have a connection to something and that's why you haven't taken care of it. You know, you might be irritating somebody on purpose so that way you can get some kind of reaction from them. Or maybe you're not doing something because you think you're going to get a reaction. But it's actually stopping all of your flow. It's stopping your flow. The Eight of Swords, you don't even see this. Um, you don't even see it. But you know that you need, you you know what you need to do, Libra. You know what you need to do. We're going to pull some advice from the universe. Spirit, what advice do you have for my Libra babies? Collaboration of souls. The now. The spark of hustle. Destruction of shiny things. Fall in love with your own story. Bottom deck energy is creator earth. So some of you need to be grounded. Okay. I feel like some of you... You know, especially when it says the distraction of shiny things, you may have gotten into the the whole thing of me buying stuff is going to make me feel better. It's not, though, is it? It's not going to fix anything. You can put everything that you want around you that you buy, and it's not going to fulfill anything on the inside. Um, fall in love with your own story. I feel like some of you could be ashamed of what has been done whether it's what you've done or whether it's what you have put up with there could be a sense of shame there don't be shameful of it everybody has their own lessons everybody has their own lessons the meaning of what you go through is to learn something from it not for you to stay stagnant in it and to drag it out and for it to you know for it to be don't make it your demise. You know, don't make it something that crumbles you. We have spark of hustle. I feel like some of you could be um, throwing yourself into work. And it's like, see, I'm putting my energy somewhere except where you need to be putting it. You know, how good is that hustle going if it's not being, if it's not flowing, if it's not being prosperous and abundant because you haven't taken care of a certain something. 
you you're blocking yourself i don't think you realize that you're blocking yourself or you're being stubborn and you're not listening to that part of the message but you are blocking yourself by not taking care of a certain something once you take care of a certain something the gates are going to open for you but i think that you're afraid of letting go of that certain something of whatever it is that you have to work on the now this is a reminder to not think about the past think about your present think about your future okay we have collaboration of souls once again i think that if you actually listen to advice or if you heard you know what people had to say then you know you'd be able to um really soak in what it is that you need to do in order to free things up so that is that is what I have for you for this week, Libra. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. If you like your segment of the video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know if you resonate. Share and subscribe if you want to. Have a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.